brackets or commas. We're just going to hit enter. There it is. What's going to be the credit related to the sale? That is going to be revenue or sales down here. So we have sales, revenue, has a credit balance. And of course, we're going to make it go up because revenue always goes up by doing the same thing to it, which in this case would be another credit. So I'm going to copy the sales. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that underneath. Right click, paste it, one, two, three. So that's the first half of the transaction that we're talking about. And that deals with, of course, the 110. Let's post that out and then start thinking about the uh, inventory. And note uh, that this transaction is pretty much the same whether we're a service company or a merchandising company. Uh, and the second half, of course, will be different because that's when we're dealing with inventory. All right, so cash is going to go here. I'm going to post this amount to the middle column. We have the beginning balance. We're going to see what happens in the ending balance. We are in N6. We're going to say equals point to the 110 here. That's a debit. This is a debit. It's going to make it go up in the debit direction to 190. And you can see the change, of course, up here. What's happening to our assets? Of course, assets went up on this account. And quick ass, both quick assets and current assets are going to go up. What's, what's that going to do to our ratio? Well, uh, the numerator just went up on all on both the current assets and the quick asset uh, ratios so let's take a look at the other side sales sales is going to be down here so here's sales we're going to post that to n17 equals and point to that to 110 and of course sales always goes up so when we hit enter we'll be back in balance net income will go up like so okay and and of course that's not going to affect our current assets or our quick assets so there's no effect on our journal entry from the posting of the sales are uh, journal our um, ratios that we're looking at the current ratio and the quick ratio are looking at the liquidity the balance sheet for the most part now we're going to post the second half of this which has to do with inventory so inventory is what we sold here's inventory it must have gone down so it has a debit balance we need to make it go down how do we make something go down we do the opposite thing to it as what it is it's a debit therefore we're going to credit it so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to 